Hi everyone, uh, me again. This time I wanted to do a little video on a new application that is out to show you the Portico de la Gloria of the Cathedral of Santiago, the Compostela. I know many of you have been to town before and uh, some of you may have been able to go and have a look at it because it has been in renovation for the last few years but I think about a year ago they opened it up for tours that can come in. You could book your uh, your tour ahead of time online. There's a link in the description below how to do that. And go inside and have a look at this, these beautiful arches. Now, of course, in these days of uh, COVID and virus days, you can't probably come visit, which means they, it's a good uh, alternative to have a look at this application that they've created. It's for um, iOS devices and Android devices and it has photos, it has audio guides, it has uh, interactive um, sections where you could look at the various instruments that is in the Portico della Gloria because there's a lot of instruments these figures are carrying. Some of them are instruments that are no longer used, so they actually have tried to make some replicas based on what the instrument looked like in, the, in this, these uh, sculptures. So uh, let's have a look at let me open my phone here and scroll down and let's have a look at the application. Uh, this is actually quite interesting because what they've done is this application is just one big photo with some audio on top of it for some sections. It is actually 2,700 photos that are stitched together to one large image. It took them 14 hours of uninterrupted image capturing with a robot to take all these photos and stitch them then later all together. And what you see here now is if I swipe my finger on the phone, I could swipe around and I could zoom in on these various sections and see the result of the restoration uh, that I've done. At the bottom to the left, there's a little icon in the circle there with some, looks like four boxes. I click it and I got some options here of what I want to do. For example, let's click audio tour to see what that sounds like. Preventive conservation and restoration project for the Portico of Glory and its surroundings. Commissioned by King Ferdinand II of Leon. So it takes you on a tour of the whole ar uh, and arch, the various arches, and tells you all the background information on this. In Spain, I click on the next, for the millions the of pilgrims section. who have completed the way of St. James throughout the centuries. The Portico of Glory is the target of a long journey. The scale and quality of the sculptural work. Given the need for an immediate response to the relentless. So, as you can see, what this actually is doing is zooming in and zooming work. out of that same photo, the big photo that they have taken. So, uh, so listen to the uh, audio guide, it's a very good idea. And then later, if you wanted to scroll down, you can look at the various saints. Uh, for example, let's look at St. Luke. And this is a picture of him uh, after the restoration is done. Click on the circle at the bottom. You can see, oh, what did he look like before? Before the restoration, he looked like this. And after, he looked like this. So you could see that it's, it's, there's a big difference. So various, various uh, apostle, various sections of the of the uh, of the arches are here and you could look what it looked like before and after and as i mentioned a lot of uh, mm, instruments are used or you could see them used by these various figures and here is a list of some of them they've tried to uh, to make replicas of some of these instruments uh, based on what it looked like uh, on the on the actual columns so I just clicked on one and I could drag with my finger around to see what it looks like on all the various sides. I click on the eye, can get some more information on it. So as I said, I know you can't probably come to Santiago right now, but it is a nice little application. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, there's download links in the description to the Android version and to the iOS version. So I would uh, Download it, have a look, play around with it. And then once you're in Santiago, of course, book the entrance and have a look at, at this uh, amazing place yourself. The link to 
where you could book it is also in the description below. Enjoy. Ciao.